Hello guys and welcome back. In this lesson I will teach you that how you can create your own database on PHP my admin for your login system. So it's very easy and straightforward you just need to follow some simple steps and you will be easily creating a database on your own. So first of all you need to decide a name for your database which you need to write over here your database name. So let's go with login over here. Let's give our database a name of login. And the collation should be UTF-8 Unicode CI. So navigate to UTF-8 over here. And then go to underscore Unicode underscore CI. And after choosing this, you need to simply click create and it says database has been successfully created however there are no tables found in this database so now you need to create tables so let's give our table a name for example let's say users and let's give it a number of columns the default number is four but I want seven columns over here let's say and simply click go and once you click go it will load and give you seven columns in which you need to insert your name type length and values default the collation and attributes and null index etc so first of all we have our ID and it is an integer and it should be auto increment and auto increment should be primary so basically this means that it will auto automatically give the IDs of the things inserted into our database for example it will automatically give the numbers for uh, 1 2 and 3 and so on so simply click go and move on to the next column where you will have your name this will be a var char Warchar means you can add text and the length and values are is 28 which means that you can add a name up to 128 characters the collation will be UTF-8 Unicode CI and it will be null and it, w it won't be an auto increment because only ID is usually auto increment the next column will be our email column it will also be a varchar but this time it will be 64 the half of the name then we will have our phone number phone underscore number this will be a varchar as well and it will be only 16 characters long then we will have our our username and this will be warchar as well and we don't want a user to have a long username so we will limit this to 16 characters as well then we will have our password and the password will be warchar again and limited to 32 characters let's say so it can be a strong password and then the last but not the least we have our confirm code column and this will be warchar and 32 again and once you're done with this you need to set the collation of your columns UTF-8 scroll down navigate to UTF-8 underscore unicode underscore CI do this with all of these because this is very important and you need to do in order for your table to work so let's find UDF8 Unicode CI similarly over here as well and in our last column as well which is the confirm code we need to have UTF-8 Unicode CI great now once you're done with this you need to scroll down you can also preview your SQL 
how your SQL looks you can copy this and paste it onto your code and you can also simply click save and once you click save it will automatically create a table for you so you have an ID which is auto increment you have a name field you have an email field in the database your a phone number field a username field password field and a confirm code field as well so one more thing that you have to do is change the default over here you can see that all of the default is none over here and we need to change the default of the confirm code to null so to do this you need to select this and click change over here or simply click change over here and it will open up the specific column that you need to edit then you need to go to default and simply click null and proceed and click save once you're done with this it will change your default to null and this is great so this is how you can easily create your SQL database on your local host for your login system so just follow these few simple steps if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the discussions tab and I will try my best to answer all of your questions so s keep practicing stay tuned stay focused create a, a create a database and let's move to our next lesson